Hey, what's going on guys? It's Keda here and today we are going to take a look inside this uh, welding machine. This is an arc welding machine. It is a 200 amp output one. So let's take a look inside it. So all the screws are out. Let's see what is behind the red carpet there. Okay guys, so we are inside and you can see here is the big toroidal transformer. You can see how big it is and on to this side, the output current selector switch there. This is the 18 watt AC fan and there is pretty much nothing more than that. So the main job of the welding machine is to get the high voltage suppose it's 220 volts or 120 volts and convert it to high current. The voltage may be low but current should be pretty high to generate the high uh, fusing temperature for your welding electrodes and you can do the weldings. So here is the transformer. You can see the one wire of the transformer is directly connected to the AC. This gray wire one here is directly connected to it. And another AC wire is connected through this selector switch. And onto the selector switch, you can see here is the first lowest setting. Then here is the middle setting and higher setting there. So under the yellow cloth there, there is a whole lot turns of this uh, AC input wires. So let me show you what is the resistance of this wires there. The input resistance of this transformer is uh, about 1.7 ohms. So let me show you the middle setting. It is now 1.8 ohms. And it's about 3 ohms. Okay. So this range selector switch just selects the portion of the winding and that's why you can able to control the output current. The output wire of the transformer as you can see it is quite thick. So let me show you the thickness of the wire actually. Okay guys so it is 6.5 mm. It is quite a thick wire. I cannot able to move it easily with my hands and it is just 3 turns and with the help of this 3 turns it actually produces 35 volts and this transformer right here it has a very low resistance as we have seen about 2 ohms so it can consume pretty large amount of power so this much power should have to go somewhere so that's why through these 3 wires it gives you 35 volts and with lots of amps in this case it's 200 amps okay guys so thanks for watching this video please like this video if you like it dislike if you dislike and as always thanks for watching guys peace goodbye